So Unity recently released their latest version of the editor, version 2020.1, and with that came some changes to the package manager, which I think are pretty great for the most part, except when it comes to how they handle preview packages. So the other day I downloaded the latest version of the editor, and of course I wanted to play around with some of the ECS stuff, because I've been doing a lot of that stuff on my channel. And so they actually changed the way that you enable preview packages, so you actually have to go to the project settings, and under the package manager tab, you click enable preview packages, and then it comes up with a warning and then you just say that you understand that you are enabling preview packages and then you'll see that you now have some of these preview packages here and so if you start scrolling through here you'll notice that some of the preview packages are actually not showing up in there uh, specifically the ones related to ECS. So this really confused me at first and long story short, this wasn't an issue or anything like that, but Unity is intentionally hiding away some of the preview packages that they consider more on the experimental side and the dots and ECS stuff definitely fall on that experimental side of things. Now luckily you can still add these packages manually, so today I'm gonna be showing you two different ways that you can do that. So the first way is the easiest way. We're actually gonna be adding it by URL. So we can just go up to the packages here and we'll just go to the ones in our project. And then we can hit the plus icon and do add package from git URL. So now it prompts you to enter in a URL for the package that you want. So to get that URL, there's actually a little shortcut here. If you go up to this yellow box that says preview packages in use and you click on that and then you click on why am I seeing this, it actually opens up the Unity manual where it shows all the preview packages that they currently have. So to add in all the ECS stuff, the easiest way to do that is to add in the hybrid renderer package and that gives you basically everything that you need. So if you just copy this URL here, just com.unity.rendering.hybrid, and you come back over into Unity, and you can just paste that in. Remember, we're just adding in from the Git URL. Uh, you click the Add icon, and then after a short little bit, you may need to be patient. Uh, you'll start seeing some progress bars here, just to let you know that all the packages are importing. So we'll let that do its thing. All right, so now you'll see that the hybrid renderer package is now installed in our project. Now, to actually see all the other entities' things that it grabbed, um, you can just go over to, again, in your project settings and just check mark this show dependencies box. And then now you'll see that we have burst and entities and the job system and mathematics and, you know, all those things that are required for ECS. So now, like I said, there are two ways that you can actually add preview packages. So now I'm going to be showing you how to add the uh, new Unity physics packages by using the second method. So here you'll just open up a file explorer and go to the root of your Unity project. And you'll notice there's a folder called packages. So if you double click on that, you'll see that there's this manifest.json file. So now we can edit this with pretty much any text editor. I like Notepad++. And here's where you can actually see all the packages that are inside of your project. So for example, because we just added in the uh, hybrid renderer, you'll see that it's sitting right here. So now if we wanna add in the physics packages, we can basically just put the uh, URL and version number in the line below here. So again, we can come over to this Unity document and here we can just click on the com.unity physics and you'll see here it brings you to the documentation for the latest version. So you'll see this is version uh, 0.4.0 preview five. So here we'll go down to the bottom and then after the last element, we'll just do a comma and then a new line and in parentheses here, we'll just do com.unity.physics. After that, just do a colon and then another parentheses. And here's where we put the version number. So we're going to be doing, again, version 0.4.0-preview.5. And then end the quotation marks there. So again, you can specify the version. I recommend just using the latest version. Um, so once you save this file, and then come back to Unity, you'll see that right away it says resolving packages, and here's where we're, at. we're actually going to import all the physics packages into our project. So once that finishes, then we can scroll down to the bottom and you'll see that we now have the Unity Physics version 0.4.0 preview five. And so now that you have the Unity ECS packages installed in your project, you can go start learning some ECS. If you do need any help with that, you can check out some of the other videos on my channel. I'll leave a link to a playlist right up here to help you get up and running with some of the ECS stuff. Anyways, I hope you did find today's video helpful and you learned a thing or two. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also feel free to subscribe to the channel for lots of more videos on new features in Unity, like the Entity Component System. Of course, if you do have any further questions for me or suggestions for future videos, you can always leave those down in the comment section below. But I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.